What does one do if they're described as morons, stupid fools? Be angry. That's the natural reaction. Not if you're India's aviation regulator. And not if the one using such unflattering choice words is Boeing, the aviation giant. Here is the story. Listen carefully. Boeing shared a new round of emails with the U.S. Congress on January 9th. These documents expose the toxic and dangerous corporate culture at Boeing. Before we come to that, let's address the aspects related to India's aviation regulator, the DGCA, Director General of S Civil Aviation. The internal documents show that Boeing employees referred to DGCA as fools, morons and stupid. This was during the approval process of the Boeing 737 MAX planes in India three years ago. Think of it, the regulator of the world's fastest growing aviation market is being called names by Boeing and that too while trying to sell a model that has now resulted in two fatal crashes and killed 346 people. Let me quote some of the words about DGCA. This is from the year 2017. One Boeing executive to another says, and I'm quoting, the DGCA in India is apparently even stupider. This is another conversation about the DGCA. Let me quote again. I just Jedi mind tricked these fools. I should be given 1,000 US dollars every time I take one of these calls. I saved this company a sick amount of money. So what did the DGCA say in response? One senior DGCA official is reported to have said that they respect the views of the Boeing employee and shall improve to come up to expectations. This is beyond shameful. What is the need for an Indian aviation watchdog to be subservient to Boeing? Isn't India civil aviation regulator employed by the government of India or is Boeing their paymaster? And what explains the Boeing employee boasting of mind-tricking India? Did the government lose money to Boeing? There are several questions that need to be answered. Now, Boeing India says that the communications are unacceptable and do not reflect the company. They have apologized to the DGCA, to SpiceJet and to the public. SpiceJet bought those planes. In another communication that has come out from these internal documents, a Boeing pilot advises an airline to send DGCA an email. Why do they want to send this email? What's the intention? This mail had a list of all airlines around the world using the MAX just based on computer training. So this mail was intended to make India feel stupid for asking for additional training requirements. Was Boeing playing with pilot training and people's lives? And did DGCA get swayed by emails over other countries and airlines? Is India's civil aviation watchdog so gullible? There were other shocking revelations here. Boeing employees had this to say about the 737 MAX. I'm quoting again. Designed by clowns, who are in turn supervised by monkeys. Now hear this out. This comment by a Boeing employee is interesting and worrisome at the same time. Would you put your family on a Mac simulator trained aircraft? I wouldn't. That's what they say in Boeing. That last comment was before the Lion Air crash. This is the real face of Boeing, but India's aviation watchdog, quote unquote, respects the views and shall improve to come up with Boeing executives' expectations. It is shameful, I repeat. The aviation regulator must read through the entire internal documents once more. There are indications that Boeing might have sold a dodgy, defective model, and that too without bothering with pilot training and without any care about passengers' safety. Boeing does not give much importance to any regulator, that much is evident. But does India care about its self-respect? And if it does, the government of India should send a clear message to Boeing instead of taking such insults lying down.